Hi there, I hope you're all well. This is part two of my May book haul. I decided to split it into two parts because it was going to be way too long otherwise. So be sure to check out part one where I talk about this huge stack of books. Uh, this particular video is going to be strictly manga, so if you're not interested in manga, I guess you can stop watching. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. Um, I picked these all up at, through Barnes & Noble. Um, first books are um, in the Blue Exorcist series, and that is uh, Blue Exorcist number nine. And this is number 10, and some really crazy covers. Uh, this is by Katsue Kato. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that or not, but absolutely love this series. I also have been watching the anime, which is really good as well. Uh, then I decided to try a new series. This is uh, Dead Man Wonderland, um, story and art by Jinsei Kataoka and Katsuma Kondao. Kondao I don't know. If you can, it's probably not going to be clear enough to read that, but anyway, um, yeah, so this is volume one. I don't know if I should go that way. <laughs> These are all Japanese manga, so of course they read right to left, um, black and white. I like the um, illustrations in there. And this is also volume two. And I'll just read a little synopsis from volume one here. It says, framed for the brutal murders of his classmates by the mysterious red man, middle school student Ganta Igarashi finds himself sentenced to death and sent to the bizarre and fatal theme park slash prison that has been that has risen from the ruins of the great Tokyo earthquake, a hell on earth known as Dead Man Wonderland. The inmates of this insane penitentiary fight for the survival every day to provide entertainment for the masses and terrifying secrets lurk in the shadows. Ganta is determined to survive Dead Man Wonderland and clear his name, but the price may be his soul. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, I forget. I think there's three volumes out right now. I just picked up the first two. And then this is a series I've seen quite a bit. There's a lot of volumes out right now, and my first exposure to it was through the anime, which really caught me right away. Um, this is for teens, like 16 and over. And this is the Attack on Titan series. So I'll show you the covers really quick. It's volume one, volume two. Four and volume five. Uh, I think there are, uh, there might be up to like twelve or thirteen, maybe more already. So I'm kind of late getting started on it. But a uh, real short synopsis: It just says the desperate battle begins. For the past century, what's left of mankind has hidden in a giant three-walled city, trapped in fear of the bizarre giant humanoids known as the Titans. Little is known about where they came from or why they are bent on consuming humankind. But the sudden appearance of the enormous titan is about to change everything. Um, and so, yeah, they live in this, like, three-walled city. Um, you can kind of just see a little glimpse of it. They're, they live within this. And there's, like, an outer wall, then an inner wall, and another inner wall. And they are slowly being driven towards the center of their, their small little world by these titans as they break through. Um, lots of Lots of action throughout this. Some gory scenes because, as it said, they do um, consume humans. We don't know why, uh, which is a perfect couple right there. <laughs> um, so you're watching the anime; it's it's kind of kind of brutal, but lots of action, really interesting story, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I, I actually originally picked up a different version of this Attack on Titan. They have this thing called the Colossal Edition, which if you've ever seen the Walking Dead bind up, the big thick paperback that's about that tall. They have Attack on Titan, I think it's the first volu five volumes together in this colossal edition, which is kind of appropriate since you're dealing with these colossal figures known as the Titans. Uh, and they look really cool, and there's also some really neat things within it, because there's like some color pages and things that don't appear within the regular manga. Uh, so I had purchased that, and then I kind of had a change of heart, because although it was, it was good with The Walking Dead, because the individual paperbacks are so expensive, um, these are not quite as much, but, um, it was definitely a, a money saver by buying those, but, um, they are very heavy, <laughs> very heavy to lug around if you want to read, and this is just easy to just pick up a volume really quick and take it with me anywhere I want to go, so I decided to return it and get the, um, five individual ones for now, and, and, you know, like I said, see how much I like it, but, uh, I'm really enjoying the anime as well on that. Then I picked up the hardcover bind-up of Uzumaki, Spiral into Horror by Junji Ito. 
This is a three-volume manga. It completes the entire series. And I absolutely love this hardcover version of it. Uh, I'd read this quite some time ago. It's uh, Spirals. This town is contaminated with spirals. Uh, Kurotsu Cho, a small fog-bound town on the coast of Japan, is cursed. According to Shuichi Saito, the withdrawn boyfriend of a teenager, Kiri Goshima, their town is haunted not by a person or being, uh, or being, but a pattern. Uzumaki, the spiral, the hypnotic secret shape of the world. This bizarre masterpiece of horror manga is now available in a single volume, Fall in the Whirlpool of Terror. Uh, so it's a really beautiful bind-up. You can see a good close-up of that cover. And then inside pages are um, this color with the spiral. Really creepy looking. Um, and it is definitely a horror manga. So it's a couple color pages at the very beginning. And then it goes into the standard black and white. Um, black and white look. And yeah, it's definitely definitely a creepy, creepy... Um, Manga. And I was happy to, that they came out with this really beautiful bind up. Um, and there's a spine. So, yeah, I can recommend that one. It's pretty cool. And I decided to pick this up, which is actually a movie version of Uzumaki. And I think, uh, yeah, it's, it, audio is Japanese and then subtitled in English. Um, pretty cool cover. I have yet to watch it. It's still sealed up and everything, but I was curious. Uh, it says, eerie and slimy enough to give Tim Burton nightmares. Uzumaki is a superb piece of fantasy cinema. Um, there's something evil going around and around and around. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it is as good as the manga. We will see. But I decided to pick that one up, too. And then these last three um, rather large uh, manga were just something I kind of decided to try. I haven't heard anything about any of these, um, but they look really good and kind of on the horror side. First one is Doubt. Um, we have volume one and volume two. Now the pictures are sideways, so I'll just go ahead and show you that way. This is by um, Yoshiki Tonogai. Tonogai. And uh, let me flip up the front cover. <laughs> I don't know why they have rabbit heads. I will be finding that out later, but that's what the kids look like underneath. And it's <laughs> more in color again, uh, but it's, it's basically a uh, you know black and white manga. Which I'm upside down. Uh, black and white manga, kind of horror type. I like the illustrations, really nice and clear, not overly cluttered. And uh, book one. Okay, I'll read you the synopsis. It just says. Rabid Doubt, a mobile phone game, has taken Japan by storm. In it, players are rabbits who must uncover the wolf in rabbit's clothing before falling prey to its wiles, as well as its teeth. When a group of players decides to meet offline, the last thing they expect is to lose consciousness and wake up trapped in an abandoned building, mysterious barcodes tattooed on their bodies, and a corpse strung up in front of them. To stay alive, they have but one option, to sniff out the lying wolf in their midst, Will these virtual acquaintances be able to pull it together in the real world and avoid ending up the wolf's dinner? And the back is even creepy, too. A bloody handprint on the guy's chest. But it sounded really, really creepy. Um, kind of a bit Hunger Game-ish, you know. Uh, and it's rated for older teens, too. So, uh, yeah, I decided to give that a shot. The, each of these bind-ups contains two volumes. So there's volume one and two in here, and then volume three and four in here. I don't know if that completes it or if there'll be more afterwards. Um, yeah, I, don't want to, I really don't want to peek and actually ruin the ending for me. Uh, and I haven't gone online to see if there's anything else after that. But uh, yeah, this is Doubt, volumes one and two, or, well, bind-ups one and two. And then the last one I have is also um, a horror manga, and I actually watched the first episode of the anime online. And I'm going to put uh, the site where I check out anime. It's free to, to stream it, and it's animeget.net, but I'll put a link to it down below. And this particular book, I believe it's a complete all-in-one volume here. There's like five volumes bound together. Uh, it's entitled Another, and it's just an original story by Yukito Ayatsuji and art by Hiro Kiyohara. I'm probably butchering these names like crazy, but uh, that is the cover. It's a super, super beautiful bind-up. And then just the back. And this one is also rated um, Older Teens. It says, In the spring of 1998, uh, Koichi Saka Sakakibara 
transfers into third year class three at Yomiyama North Middle School. But little does he know, his new class has a horrible secret. When he takes a seat in class for the first day of school, Koichi is unsettled by his fearful classmates. Despite this atmosphere and warnings from fellow students, Koichi is drawn to the beautiful, distant Mei Misaki, another classmate. But the closer he tries to get to her, the more mysterious she and their class become. And when a fellow student dies a disturbing death, the first of a long chain of deaths, Koichi seeks to learn the truth behind the curse of third year class three. But can he get answers before the curse kills him? Massive bind up. Um, I think there were. There's like color photos in between each break. And uh, yeah, it got really nice artwork in it. And the manga is, uh, the anime, like I said, the first episode was really creepy, so you should check it out. But that's all I have for you today. Definitely um, go and check out the sites I put down below, and I will see you next time. Happy reading.